Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Modern Musings. Today I'm gonna do a review of a bag that I have been wearing nonstop. And I'm pretty sure anybody who's not new to my channel have seen this already. I think I've shown this on one of the hauls that I did in 2017. I believe I got this as a birthday present. And ever since then, I have been wearing it nonstop. I found myself always reaching for this bag just because it's so um, it's so compact and it's beautiful and it's such a an overall amazing bag for me. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you the bag that I'm referring to. It's the Volans Data London bag. So if you like this kind of videos. Um, Stay tuned and let's get started. So as I've mentioned earlier, I got this bag as a birthday present and I was scrolling through Net-a-Porter, Net 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 um, and this bag is exclusive to net a and I haven't seen a bag anything like this before. The pattern alone, the graphic is striking. I really loved it. It has an edge to it, so it's it's kind of like so different from the bags that I have because normally the bags that I would get is something that is classic, structured but classic, like understated, but this bag when I saw it, it just hit me hard. Prior to actually getting this bag, I checked YouTube to see if there are um, bag reviews that I could refer to before purchasing it because normally when I purchase a bag especially if, if it's a designer bag and if I'm gonna be paying a lot of money for that I usually um, go to YouTube and check out the reviews so that I know that I will be well informed and I know what to expect from bags like this whether it's the size whether it's the color it's the length of the handle the length of the chain the hardware but for this one i noticed that there's not a lot of reviews for this type of bag especially this data london one i probably saw like maybe one review off of youtube and so i thought i want to be able to do a bag review for this bag for people who would like to purchase it but wanted to get more information about this bag and so here it goes. First, let's start off with the hardware. As you can see, it's got this amazing gold hardware. I have been wearing this, I have been using it nonstop, and I've noticed that there's not a lot of scratches on the hardware. So, in actual fact, the hardware is quite, no pun intended, hard wearing. Um, and even this handle, which is in like a gold hardware I haven't noticed any like very defined scratch actually there's no scratch at all on this one but that's because I don't usually wear rings so this is probably the reason why there's no scratch in the handle so if you're someone who is used to wearing rings so you might want to think about that because this, especially if you're holding it on the top handle, then it's likely to get scratched when you have a ring. Um, but yeah, because I, I don't usually wear a ring, so there's not a scratch. There's not a single scratch on the top handle. I think there's a, there's a bit of scratch on the corner of the hardware, but that's just because, you know, it's, it's, usual, it's the usual wear and tear, but it's nothing so definite. And then the handle, the, the length of like the shoulder strap itself is really nice. I, I think for my, my height and my, my, the length of my torso, it's, it's just enough for me. Um, and I like that it's got this detail as well. So it's got like studs that, that's keeping the, the handle in place. And I'm just gonna quickly show you 
when I do that actually it kind of like reaches just the just the top of my hip so that's how it is I mean the hardware is really nice it makes it it makes it feel a little bit more luxurious with the hardware that it has the leather on the outside so these sorry <laughs> oops so these patterns is of a grained leather even the sides of it so you can see it, it it's compartmentalized actually there's like three compartments in it and then the middle part has this really striking red color and even here at the back this is a grained leather soft grained leather the stitching if you look at it is impeccable it's nicely done even the stitching on the actual um graphic which is this striking like red and white contrasting color looks really nice the only thing that i'd probably comment on is the cover which is a soft top leather so on this top leather there are actually a lot more visible scratches but i guess this is because you know um when my nails were longer and i was just like trying to open it with one hand then it's a bit difficult so i get a lot more scratches on the top leather but i think if you just use like like a wax or something this leather uh on this leather the scratches wouldn't be very visible um i just haven't like cleaned it with a wax as of now so it, it's very visible but i think when um you clean it with like a wax or something then that would probably make the scratches on the top leather less visible but i'll let you know when i do that so just a little bit of an overview on this bag the volan is a south korean brand and a lot of their bags have really been popular and have been featured as the it bag in vogue and a lot of different publications a lot of different fashion house fashion magazines sorry um during 2017 these bags were very um present and visible during the fashion week um last year 2017 a lot of fashion celebrities um have been seen wearing or uh, carrying these bags well, not exactly, not the same exact bag, but um, the Volan bags. So if you look at this bag, you'd think it's very small. What can actually fit inside that? But you'd be surprised to know that there are a lot of things that can actually fit in this bag. I have been using this nonstop. These are the, the items that I normally carry with me when I have this bag. So what I usually do because these are um, in three compartments i tend to like put my phone i have a samsung s7 edge i put my card holder so i have all of my cards in here my id my bills i have it here and then if i am going out i usually carry my chanel compact powder and then on this so that is what fills up the space at the back and then on the middle compartment what I usually put is my bronzer my Benefit Dallas bronzer I usually carry this with me and then I have my Makeup Forever full cover concealer especially when I'm going out at night so that I can hide those pesky blemishes and spots. I have my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Trophy Wife. This is a full size, so that fits inside that as well. And then this is my favorite blush at the moment. It's from Max Factor. And the picture the, the color is it's called Seductive Pink. So I like this because it's compact and I can easily fit this into any of my smaller bags. 
And then I have another lipstick which is from Max Factor and this is this color is burnt caramel. This is one of the more um, moisturizing lipstick. And then on the first compartment, this is where I usually put my keys. So my car keys, my car key is there. And then my house key is here as well. So those are the items that can fit inside. And that's not even like the full capacity of the bag. I reckon, because I when I'm driving, I usually wear my glasses, so I can still fit my glasses in here. Um, the other stuff that I can fit in here is a small size perfume. So one of those like sample perfumes, sometimes I carry it with me, especially when I'm going out, so that can still fit inside my bag. So imagine this size can hold a lot of things. And I've noticed that whenever I go out and I wear this bag, I get a lot of compliments from from girls like just because it looks different and it's not your usual bag that you see I, I really really love this bag I think this is this bag would probably be my most favorite bag of 2017 um, and just because the size is it's quite deceiving because you think so small it's like literally like nearly the size of my face but you can fit a lot of things in this bag it's amazing so yeah those are the stuff that i can fit inside my bag and it's so easy this is how you can open it it just has this like latch that you can put in and out and then this latch actually has a notch so you can swivel this one in to that notch so that it's that bag is locked now. I couldn't fold this apart from apart from this soft leather. I think if this leather on top is like a, a pebble grain or a grained leather, then you wouldn't have a problem. But I do like the contrast of the soft leather with the grained leather as well. So just to sum it up, I think this bag is one of the most amazing bags out there. The leather is beautiful and it's so forgiving apart from obviously like the soft leather on top but that's because you know i have like long nails and it kind of like scratches the top bit but apart from that i would rate it highly because the hardware is um hard wearing obviously and the handle is the leather handle is just the right size for me the way that the bag is compartmentalized actually um, allows you to be able to stack a lot more things organized properly inside uh, the bag and overall i like that this is compact but it holds a lot of stuff and that i mean the graphics is so beautiful it's got like an edgy vibe to it but it's such a classic um looking back because of the colors that it has and it has this really wonderful surprise of green inside the bag i really love this i think my i'd say my favorite color is green so as soon as i saw it i was instantly drawn to it and the craftsmanship on this bag is impeccable like the stitching is really nicely done the way that this um, accordion, kind of like accordion type compartments are um, sewn together is really wonderful. And like just the small details that it has, like this uh, gold studs that it has, the gold hardware on the top handle, the gold hardware here. It's just an amazing bag overall. Um, it's a it's a good value for your money and it's one of those bags that are structured so even if it doesn't have anything inside and you put it on top of a table it's not going to collapse on its own uh, as opposed to like other bags which has a very soft leather it just collapses on its own if it, there's nothing inside it but this because it's such a structured bag even if there's nothing in it even if it just has like one lipstick or your key or like money 
it just stands on its own. So if you're interested in purchasing this bag, I will put a link in the description box below for Net-a-Porter. Net-a-Porter? Net-a-Porter. Not sure how to pronounce it, but I will put a link in the description box anyway. And please note that this is an exclusive of that online store. So um, I believe you can only find this there. I haven't checked in the actual Volon website. I'm going to put a link in the description box of the Volon website anyway. And if you have questions or comments, then just don't forget to put it on the comment section below. And if you like this kind of videos, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more of this type of videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Thank you.